I want to speak to my continent, Africa. And Kaidre, as you hear this word, if you're a part of the continent and the lovers of Africa, share this word widely. Let us speak to as many people and prepare as many of our people as we can. Hallelujah. Now, we are in very sensitive days and um, Africa is breast of the Lord and God has you know given Africa so many things call them minerals uh, good weather food you know in the good weather um, food is you know we are able to grow variety, variety, varieties of foods and um, you know Africa we have our own food we have our own food that is not you know genetically modified we have we found our mothers you know growing bananas and uh, all those maize and uh, we used to dry those seeds and we used to um you know replant them we have had our mangoes you know that are not affected by whether i have some of these indigenous you know uh over caldos popos and you know, guavas and all those things you know africa is a hub you know, by itself of any kind of you know you know the original things that god created and uh, you know fruits and every kind of thing including wild animals forests and gold soil and uh, you know we have water to date and uh, i want the continent of africa to know that is the season we have entered into uh the kingdom of darkness using uh, whatever they call the globalists, you know, the people who think they're up there above God in the world, or do they want to, uh, you know, bring some rules and regulations and laws in in, uh, in, in a government? And uh, the agenda is to control particularly what is being farmed, what, you know, even to take charge of the farmlands and, and uh, to kind of now be paying the farmers to grow whatever they need to, go, to, they need to grow. And the, in this you realize that uh, the farmers will not have say in whatever they have been, uh, you know, growing or whatever somebody would want to plant and the agenda of the enemy is coming through the climate change uh, you know it, it is it is all one thing you know covering up with another uh, you know internationally i mean uh, globally or internationally it's one thing covering up with one and uh, with another but behind the scene you know uh, it's like what we have been talking to us about abuja declaration of 1997 and uh, 19 yes and uh, you know i had one one of the days in uh, in our nation, I had uh, one of the news anchor. Somebody sent me that clip about uh, one of the news anchor talking about the whatever was happening in my country it is uh, you know it is a fulfillment or it is um it's it, uh, you know it, it's in line with the Abuja declaration. So these things are there, and I want the world to know there's nothing coincidental. There are people who have been sitting down burning the midnight oil, uh, you know, to be able to uh, perfect the agenda in the world. And uh, at the end of the day is where the world is supposed to be controlled by one voice, one world government, one world religion, one world currency. That means, you know, this, uh, you know, and this is why now you are seeing some people are trying now to, to come with a crystal, crystal, you know, bringing that conducive in a quote environment where there can be a, a peaceful coexistence of Christians and Muslims and all that. You know, that's not my direction for today. Uh, let everybody do what they are doing for their master. Now, my concern is who Africa is. I've always said Africa is not a dark continent. And that's why I'm telling our baby girls out there, kind of love your skin. Don't mess up your skin. You're beautiful the way God created you. And I want the girls out there and every one of us, you know, you don't need to change your hair to look like anybody's hair. Just love yourself. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Love your hair the way it is. If it is not getting down there, just leave it. You know, as long as you have 
are not messed up with it just leave it love your skin the way it is you are fearfully uh, you know wonderfully made we are not a dark continent and we are not you know when we were growing up we we, 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 we used to see even the cinemas brought to us you know Jesus being reflected as a white person and uh, you know demons who are dark people uh, you know those are just cinemas we have the image of God the Bible the Bible says he created both male and female hallelujah and uh, they have the image of God we have the image of God hallelujah so in this end time and I hear the spoke God say it is a high time that Africans will begin value ourselves I've been talking to our brethren our 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 sisters and brothers you know who are dispersed all over globally particularly in other continents outside Africa Kaidre don't just stay there and and that you fail to develop something home and now this is a time in the next you know two years Kaidre make sure from from May uh, 2020 24 going all the way before 2027 Kaidre make sure make sure you have something home make sure you have a home make sure in the village you have something because let me tell you Africa is going to be let me tell you the end time move of God and whatever God will do you know that will that will um, you know will will usher in the, the the coming of Christ and the end time move of God and all those things connected to the scriptures you know this thing will be birthed in the continent of Africa and you are going to see a turn of events let me tell you some of these nations they are going to be brought down to their knees and people will begin learning to, to, to look for peace and to look for peaceful coexistence you know in 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 africa in some of these countries and i prepared you and and i want you to check around even in any uh, africa country right now uh the, the white men and many people out from out there they really want to intermarry they they really want to intermarry uh, you know actually some of them are you know, just to have anybody very alert in the spirit they really want to intermarry you know with the people in africa and all that you know initially it was the other way out we used to see you know girls from Africa and you know young men from Africa and all that they didn't want to go to the west and and, and marry there this time around and the other day I I sat in um in a, in, a, in a, the place of officiating marriages of, of our government a place called Sharia house and what I saw in some three two three days I just I was just you know just you know walking around as I do my spiritual mapping as a prophet in the country and uh, you, if you saw the kind of old men are coming holding our young girls at Sharia house You'd be very shocked. <laughs> You'll be very shocked. Well, once a time, when God allows me, I, I just go to sit in a place called a Boretan, and, and you can see by the gate. If you just sit by the gate there, and I just allow there, you know, the, the the young girls that are coming, you know, our African young girls that are coming with the white men, you know, it, it is it is so so amazing. Now, leaving that aside, leaving that aside, I want Africa to know that uh, what God preordained for the continent, it is now the beginning point of that fulfillment and uh in that i want you to go and read the word of god in the book of uh, joshua chapter 21 verse 2 verse 43 to verse 45 there is nothing that god has promised us you know all uh, all sworn all all purpose uh, is that 14 you know that will not come to pass actually uh is i mean joshua chapter 21 the bible says the last scripture there all every word of god all came to pass is there chapter uh 55 from uh, verse 8 when God has spoken the word of God. None of his word goes back to him void. His word must accomplish his assignment. So I want us to be very, very alert as Africans and know as the Lord is doing what he's doing with the continent and as God has purpose to do what he has purpose to do with the continent of Africa, the globalists also want to in want to come with their investment, with their with their, you know, uh with their um, what are they called? Their NGOs, their foundations, and all those, and they 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 want to come as if as if they are helping Africa, you know, as if they are, they want to come and now con, you know help Africans produce more food and or do all that. And at the end of the day, many of these people they want to mess up with the soil. They are on an assignment. It is a it is an implementation of an agenda that was you know decided many years ago in some some boardrooms. So they really want us to you know the mess 
dress up with one, two, three things so that they can know they can be the ones now coming with a solution. What the, the one of the formula the devil is using in these end times is that he wants to you know to bring the world into its knees, you bring nation into their knees, then bring the solution. And we know those who read the Bible, we know that is one of the tactics of the Antichrist. That is one of the tactics. That is one of the agenda. Hit here and there. At the end of, at the, end of the day, come up with a solution and so I mean show the world we are the people who are able to do this. And because there will be desperation here and there, then at the end of the day, the world will bow. Amen. So we need to be very, very alert. And I want Africans to be very, very careful. Kaidre, let us not forget because I prepared you for days. I, you know, where we are coming from, for those who have followed us for some years, God spoke about this. Way beyond two, 2002, God spoke about this. How even our own seeds, our own whatever we thought, our fathers and our mothers, our grandmothers, you know, the arrow roots and all those, you know, those things are going to be corrupted and uh, so that we don't have the security of the food that we are supposed to have. And uh, this is also an agenda of human reduction, the population reduction, because now when, when the people are are, are, are not fed well when when there is malnutrition. What do you expect? Sickness and all that. So it's just an agenda. It's just an everything is headed to just one thing: human control and uh, you know human population reduction. All those things they are just headed there. So we, we need to be very very alert. And I'm praying. Why I'm coming on board as a prophet in the continent is because the Lord is calling upon the church to pray for our president, to pray for our head of state, to pray for the ministers of agriculture in Africa and other people connected to you know farming and all that that they will not bow to the intimidation of the enemy and sell the inheritance of our continent sell our heritage he just spoke god call it heritage and sell the heritage of our continent kaide allow us to drink our milk allow us to, to eat our arrow roots that are pure allow us to eat one two three four things allow us to eat our our greens you know like now in my nation it has rained you know the greens the vegetables are just going to grow there and there you know this is this this is this is the beauty of africa this is the beauty of Africa. Hallelujah. And this is where uh, our heritage is. So I, I hear the Lord say we should not corrupt Africans and the head of states and everybody who is seated on a seat of influence. The Lord is saying don't corrupt the, the godly heritage of the continent of Africa. It's a warning that is coming from the Spirit of God. Don't corrupt the heritage of the continent of Africa. Hallelujah. Allow God the way God created Africa, allow us. This is where our joy is. This is where our victory is. There we, and I, when I, I think it is 2007 or down there, I can't remember, sorry. I can't remember when God spoke to me about this and I brought it to you, you know, how we have entered into a season of biochemicals and not only, and I told you human beings will be controlled by chemicals, you know, you have seen, you have not seen yet because there are people who have, you know, decided to do that and, and, and conspired to do that, you know, and I, I told you the other day, they want to correct God because some of these people don't believe there is God, they think they are beyond God, you know, and I hear the spirit of God call them like the Tower of but the people who are building the Tower of Babel. And uh, you know, one thing I love about God, the Bible says, you know, um, the, the scripture, you know, show me the people who do these things and they think they're above there, you know, their folly will just bring them down. You know, they will not go far. Paul is saying they will not go far, but get the, you know, the Paul is talking about the false prophets and all those people. They will not go far. The false teachers, they will not go far. Their fall will bring them down. So in the meantime, it's a moment to be very alert in the spirit. And we pray. I'm talking to the church in Africa. Let us pray for those who are in authority. Let us let nobody. You know, I, I hear the case scenario, like what is happening uh, to, to, to Naboth and, uh, and uh, they, you know, that, 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 that farm, you know, that was his inheritance. And uh, Jezebel, you know, was eyeing that, yet she had everything. She was a queen, you know, with, with the husband Ahab. They had everything, but they were eyeing that. This is what is happening in the spiritual realm in the continent of Africa. There are wicked people who think Africa not worth. So they are eyeing what belongs to Africa. And they they really want to have it. 
They really want to have it. Actually, I hear the Lord say some of them are coming with whatever they they are called investment, and it is like it is goodwill, but it is it is courted. I hear goodwill courted with ill motives. Are you hearing what the Spirit of God is calling it? It is goodwill courted with ill motives. So at the end of the day, two three years down the line, you know, some everybody will say, ah uh ah, -uh, I signed a document that I was not supposed to sign. I did what I was not supposed to do because we are going to see the fruits. I hear what the, the Spirit of God is saying. What is happening now and what somebody would bring as a goodwill quoted uh, you know quoted as it is goodwill the quoting of it in real sense it is bad will or evil you know it is bad will so we need to be very very alert in our spirit and be able to hear even as we pray for our continent and pray that the leadership that God has given us in the continent, my God, nations like Malawi, that, that you know, that are, you know, ha, that are granaries of Africa, a lot of food made there, my God, hallelujah. Nations like Zimbabwe, my God, hallelujah, the good soil. Nations like, like, like DRC, their farm, you know, their, their lands, you know, farmlands that have never been, they are still virgin, they have never been touched. You know, Africa, we have goods, so we have food, we have minerals, and we have all those things. So let us pray for those who are in authority so that they may align with the purpose of God in the now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, church in Africa, we have an assignment. This is a word for the continent of Africa. We have an assignment. Let us do what we are supposed to do. Now, uh, the other thing I want to warn in Africa Kaide, we cannot go back to an ancestral worship. The people who are going that direction. And let me tell you, you know, God, I, I read for my nation some scriptures uh, yesterday in the book of Hosea, chapter 4. Go and read for yourself. God rewards us, you know, and God pays us. You know, he rewards and uh, he, 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 you know, he rewards and punishes us according to our ways individually. So anybody who is diverting from the cause of the true worship, from the cause of true worship and going back, God is not an ancestor. God is, God is not an ancestor. God is not a God of the dead. He's a God of the living. So we cannot worship him through, through the death. You know, I mean through the dead. And, and he, we cannot go that direction. He is spirit. The Bible says he is spirit. Hallelujah. And so we, we must avoid things that are not godly. And I'm praying for the generations of my people because we are in our generation. I'm praying for the generations of, our, of my people that we are going to refuse to be to, to be driven back to where we are coming from because why God is spirit and those who worship him this is what Jesus is telling the Samaritan woman in the book in the Bible in the book of John chapter 4 must do that in truth and in spirit hallelujah so Kaidre Africans let us pray that our frog will not be messed up with our chicken will not be messed up with you know the way we just find our eggs you know our chicken are just laying their eggs there you know our goats are just you know giving birth there and that that freedom let, let's let's pray because we prepared us for this some years back we prepared us for this and why i'm coming on board in the continent of africa because i feel in the spiritual you know in the in the in the spiritual realm where i'm seated it's about time we are going to see that in different governments in africa you know control here 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 and there you know here here and there and it's an implementation that has been ongoing and it's an agenda uh, to mess up with the food security, particularly in the continent of Africa. So let us be on very, very high alert so that let us pray for our government. Let us pray for our government. Don't just sit as a person who is an African and just sit and, and, and think you, you, you are okay. You know, I don't want to talk much. I don't want to talk so many things, but, um, you know, let us be on very, very high, high alert. The other thing I want uh, the world to know Kaidi, let us pray for America. Let us pray for the nation of America. The agenda of the devil against the USA is not very good. And why I was asking the Lord, Father, what is all this about? It's because of high level of wickedness that, you know, that have been initiated from there against God in some parts of the USA. There are some, you know, things that have been initiated against the will and the purpose of God for humanity from some parts in the U.S. And so the anger of God, you know, in, in, in some of these parts is too much. And uh, uh, let's pray for New York, New York, and let's pray for America because uh, the anger of God can cause that nation to be struck 
you know, by an enemy from nowhere. So I don't know what, what, what kind of striking. So I just leave it there. But let us pray for that country. And I pray for the people who for us from the USA. We are praying for that nation. We are praying for your elections. We are praying for that nation. Kaidre intercede and take charge of the spiritual, uh, you know, hedges of your nation for the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. One thing I want to say as I conclude is that we are in any time and signs of end times are going to be eminent everywhere you know for a witness nobody will keep quiet and say i never saw the I, I never saw famine i never saw earthquakes i never saw what it's going to be very very clear so i'm asking the church of jesus christ the bible says it is his body as the world is going north this the, the the church of jesus christ you know these are very uh, are two very distinct uh, kingdoms so as the world will be implementing the agenda north on the other hand uh the kingdom of god will be going you know south uh, so the agenda of the devil right now the agenda of the devil right now majorly in the world are women and children women and children and this uh, I, I told you about the season of biochemicals so what you're going to see is the devil trying to hit the children here and there through chemicals here and there I don't want to talk much about that I just want to leave it there I just want to leave it there we have been preparing you in the world for this and you're going to see because at the end of the day it is about human uh, population reduction. It's about uh, stopping the birth of humanity and uh, all those things. It's about all those things. So we are going to see much of this. We are going to see much of this. So it's upon us to pray for our government and to restore the order and the purpose of God where God has you know has has praised you don't just live and merry make these are not the days particularly we are born again these are not the days for that it's a season to arise to the occasion and be able to do what you are supposed to do as i came on board to speak to africa the spirit of god took me to the word of god in the book of Luke chapter 19 i know it's a story that is many of us know but i know i'm being followed by people even who don't believe in the bible so the bible says talks about a man called zacchaeus this man was was a well to do actually he was a tax corrector he was a well to do man he had a uh, you know a well to do man is uh, somebody who has something in the in the in the community and uh one time as jesus was going on with his uh with his daily uh ministration and all that and many people are thronging around him and they're following him uh this man decided in his heart to see jesus as he is and i want you to notice something and because it is scriptural that anytime you saw jesus talk to address a matter or do something uh, he saw that the father do the same on any time you had Jesus say anything it because that is what he had from the father so this time around Zacchaeus was, was a, of small stature that means he was a short man but he decided to see who Jesus was you know I, I mean he decided to see how Jesus the Bible talks about and the Bible says you know the Bible says so the Bible says uh, let me read for you this uh, and the Bible says and he sought to see who Jesus was he sought to see who Jesus was. Hallelujah. But he was. He could not because he the crowd was too much. And he was of such of short stature. So he decided to see who Jesus was. Hallelujah. So anybody deciding to see who I am. So somebody will just come. Want to see how you dress. How you look like. Just a physical you know, appearance. Hallelujah. And uh, so at the end of the day. What do we see? Uh, Jesus is standing that desire in the life of Zacchaeus. To something that is for his eternal purposes hallelujah in the name of jesus but before that you know zacchaeus and jesus they they had to agree that i'm not coming where you are on, on top on top of a cycle of a sycamore tree it is you to come down with the same speed you went up is the same speed the energy and everything you are coming down with the, the bible says jesus when he got here he told zacchaeus made haste and calm down make haste and calm down now listen to me africans the lord is saying anything that has taken up there you know up there you know above what is of god above that is of the purpose of god and all that you know we must come down of it we must come down we must must be in agreement with God we must be in agreement with the scriptures we must be in agreement with the purpose of God for the continent we must be in agreement and I want to say this because let me tell you and I want to make a warning as a voice of God in the continent one of the voices by the grace of God now I want to say anybody who will try to distort 
the agenda and the purpose of God, God is able to deal with them and he will deal with them. So anything that has taken up there, you know, Jesus is showing uh, Zacchaeus, it's not about your thoughts. It's not about what you wanted. It's not about all those things. It's about the eternal purposes that brought me here on earth. That's why at the end of the day, when people are complaining, Jesus is telling people, and Jesus said to him, uh, today's salvation has come to this house because he also is a son of Abraham. I came for this purpose. This one is also a son of Abraham. For the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Hallelujah. It's about the internal purpose. It's about the eternal purpose. So Africa, I decree and declare the word of God is giving me a backup. Job 22 and verse 28. Hallelujah. Be restored to your eternal purpose as far as humanity in the world is concerned in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So any tradition of the ancestors, any kind of worship, idol worship, devil worship, national and all those things, you know, that, that have been introduced to Africa that is uh, that is distorting, you know, the continent from that which is the original purpose of God for, for it. Now, this day, my God, hallelujah, we agree together that Africa is coming down of that, is coming out of that, hallelujah, is coming out of that, is delivered from that, and the continent of Africa will be restored that which is of the purpose of God in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So let us pray for this, and I want Africa to know uh, it is time, I hear this what God say, it is time for breaking forth of the, you know, the end time moves of God, and what what you are going to do are women leading the way, the Deborahs of our time, Esthers of our time, the Rebecca's of our time, Mary's of Nazareth, hallelujah, Mary Magdalene, my God, hallelujah, you are going to see women, you know, taking the read of this at time move of God, and it's going to, you know, to, spr to sprout out here and there in different nations of the continent, and as women are arising and being used of God in the continent of Africa, you know, the seven mountains of influence, you're also going to see to see a positioning of a very new breed of young people that that are you know that are enlightened by the spirit of God, uh, taking up and arising with their mothers for the glory and honor of the name of the. So I am urging our women out there, kind of let us do it the Royce way and the Eunice way. Remember the story of um the story of Timothy. Let us equip the young people God is bringing away in the ways of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So Africa, you have an, an end time agenda in the heart of God and uh, God is uh, here with us. The season is here with us for Africa to become uh, that which God has ordained. But before there, as uh, God is doing his process, right? Because I hear the Lord say it is already ongoing. Now, the devil is trying to counter here and there, to counter here and there. And uh, the, the main target of the devil in the continent of Africa, it will be about farming. It will be about farming. So we need to be very alert. I pray for our head of state. I pray for our authorities in this continent. Kaidre, allow Africa to be, allow Africa to enjoy the godly heritage in her, in the name of Jesus. God bless you.